Today I'm going to show you how to export your materials and your underground takeoffs into Google Earth. So I know many of you are already doing this in grade work and you're going to find it works pretty much the exact same way. So you start by getting your benchmarks put into your job and we have lots of videos on how to do that if you're not familiar. But once you've got your benchmarks put in and your takeoff is complete, you simply just go to File, Export, and you choose KMZ Export. That's the Google Earth file type. You're going to give your file a name. I'll save over this version. That's OK. And then the Export menu box is going to pop open, which again looks just like it does in grade work with a couple little additions for materials. So this left side, um, all these different layers are from my grade work takeoff. You guys will recognize these, my you know design contours and sectional areas and report regions. I don't need those for this export, so I'm going to focus on this new box, which is structure types. So this is where I tell the program which of my areas, lengths, counts, pipelines, all those things that I've put into the materials and underground takeoff I want to include in this export. The check boxes on the left control what's sent out to Google Earth and then the eyeball controls what's initially visible. So this all looks good. I want my areas, lengths, pipes, verticals. I'll view those so I can un undo that eyeball, make sure there's no slash through it. That's how I know it's now visible. Um, on this project, it was just one, thing, one phase, but if you had multiple phases, they would be listed here and you could choose if you wanted to export all of them or just a specific one. Uh, and then again, if you wanted to organize by phase, which you likely would. Um, and then the last one is this image export. So this is which PDFs I want to include. So I don't need my grading details but I may want this sewer plan. So I'll check the box for that sewer plan, but go ahead and click the eyeball because I don't need it visible at first. So once I have that all set up, I just hit export and the program is going to think through all those reports and spit out a nice Google Earth file. So I have one open. I have the one that it would spit out open already. So here's what it looks like in Google Earth. Um, very similar, as you can see, to what it was looking like in AgTech. The main difference is that this KMZ file is totally shareable. So you can email this to anybody you want to. You can open this up on any computer. You do not need your AgTech key or to be logged into AgTech to interact with this file. So that can be pretty handy for um, bid reviews or sharing information with subs or whatever you need to do. And then I can click on different areas like a building pad here and get of course the name and square footage associated but I also get the materials I assign to that area. So in this case there was some some concrete of course and then the fine grading. And I can do that with any area on the job site, maybe a garage section, another building pad over here, or I can even look at a pipeline. So let's just say I click on this one. Uh, this is an 18 inch RCP storm drain and I can see, you know, the length, the, the cover, the bedding, the spoils, all associated with that run of this uh, storm drain line. I also get my trench volumes that I put in there and then my, my depth bracket analysis. So I can see the average depth for this run is 5.3 feet. The bottom here has a nice you know, picture of how I, how I detailed that trench. But if I toggle over to pipe profile, I also get this great profile view showing me you know, what my subgrade surface looks like that I said I was, was my reference surface. You can see that's detailed up here. And then, you know, those two inlets that that run is between and the slope of this run of pipe, that 4.3%. So this export really has a lot of information, pretty much all the information that you're seeing 
in the Ag Tech program. It makes that information shareable. The other cool thing about Google Earth is it lets you um, drill into specific details. You know, you don't have to view all of this at one time, just like you don't in the, in the Ag Tech program. I can toggle things on and off. So maybe I am working with a paving subcontractor or a paving superintendent, and I don't need to see all the concrete and all the storm and sewer. I can just click those different uh, details off and isolate just my asphalt details. So this will really help me be able to see if I missed anything, if I counted something incorrectly. I can of course click on any, any area and see the quantities coming out of that area. You know, square footage, the amount of asphalt, the amount of base, the amount of fine grading. Or I can open up this menu on the left and I can get the totals for the job. So maybe I don't wanna just look at this 22,000 square foot section. I wanna look at the total light duty paving for the job. Well, I'm just gonna hit this header and this is now gonna give me all those totals. So it's a really great way to um, isolate different information and uh, share it with those parties who would be interested, of course. Let me know if you have any questions about Google Earth and make sure you sign up for our materials webinar next week where uh, Juan and Matt are going to show you how to set up these files and get them into your mobile apps for use in the field. Thanks so much.